I'm working on here is a 98 Honda Civic and the clutch just goes right to the floor and if you look up underneath where the clutch pedal goes up by the firewall it is leaking through the master cylinder we'll replace that today another indication is the low fluid in the reservoir okay we're gonna start replacing this what we're gonna do is take and remove the master cylinder uh, reservoir here there are two 10 millimeters that we're going to take out here on this bracket that'll come up and we'll go ahead and disconnect the holes down there that clamp off I'm just going to take a pick here and get underneath the uh, hose give it a little twist pull that off have a rag handy in case there's some uh, fluid that leaks out next what you're going to want to do is get a 10 millimeter uh, flare wrench and we're going to remove the fitting here on the very top. If it's really rusted you may have to take and put some heat on there. Now with that fitting backed off there you can wiggle that. Now we can go on the inside and take the cotter pin out and then unbolt it from the firewall okay hopefully uh camera can pick this up not a lot of light or room under here i will try to zoom in there is a cotter pin that you need to remove and i got that out and then you can push this little pin through and take that out then we're gonna unbolt it from here those are uh, I believe 10 millimeter we'll take and take those two bolts out okay I got those two uh, nuts off of there and it was a 12 millimeter helps if you have a little wobble extension to uh, get a right angle on there It'll be a little helpful. Okay, now we're back in the uh, engine bay here. You can uh, wiggle this down so we can uh, move the hose out of the way. Pull out our bad cylinder here. A funky little gasket on the old one we'll go and pull that off transfer it to our new one here and on our new one here we'll take this little funky cap off we'll attach our reservoir cleaned it out a little bit run this clamp back down on there We'll fill it up with some DOT3 brake fluid and then we're going to pump it a few times until some fluid comes out of here. Okay, now that it's primed a little bit, now we can go in and install it. What we do not want to do is leave any of this brake fluid on your paint we need to wipe that off because it will damage the paint okay we'll slide it in here get the bolt holes lined up and then we'll go on the inside and get it lined up with the uh, pedal 
and then we'll come back out here and connect our brake line or the uh, hydraulic line. Okay, so we got it through the uh, hole there. Our pedal bracket is on each side of the pedal, so we can go and put our 12 millimeters on. Okay, got those bolted down. Now I'm going to take and put the pin through that hole there and then put the cotter pin in. Okay, I have that pin in there and the cotter pin bent over. So now we can go and hook up that hydraulic line. So what I'm going to do is push this hydraulic line in there and get this threaded by hand, but not completely tighten it up. And then I'm going to top off the reservoir again and then pump the, brake, or the clutch pedal to help purge some of the air out of there. Okay, you want to make sure that that fitting there is tight, not leaking. And when we bleed the master cylinder there, we want to ensure we always keep the fluid level high in here. Okay, on the front here, this is the slave cylinder and there's a bleeder on there. We're going to crack the bleeder open. The pedal is up. Having an assistant tell them to push the pedal down, down, then close that bleeder up and then they'll let the pedal up and you'll do that until it keeps shooting just uh, brake fluid out of there. Take and we'll put our bolts back in for our reservoir and uh, we're ready to take it for a ride.